Ah! Risky TP. Hey guys, Joel's here. We're starting something new. We're giving away one free coaching session every week. Watch until the end of the video to find out how. Enjoy the video. Hello. How's it going? Pretty good. Okay, well, before we start, if you can send me your tracker and we can take a look Man. at that. Yeah. Okay, currently bronze two. I ranked up today, but it's not there, so I'm bronze three. Right okay, now. bronze three now. Okay, all right, moving up, moving up. Nice, love to see it. So 128 damage per round, 0.96 KD, 17 headshot percentage. Okay, do you mainly play Omen and Chamber? Omen, Chamber, and Viper. And Viper, okay, gotcha. Yeah, looks good. Your omen seems pretty consistent. Okay, go smoke. TP looks good. Ah! Okay, risky TP. So one thing you want to be careful of when you're planning the spike, make sure that you clear out site first. You never want to, like, I understand you want to get the bomb down right away, which is good to do, but it's more important that we clear out the site and we're safe. You never want to plant yeah. if you're not safe because you can't really rely on your teammates to protect you or to win the round even after you die after planting. So yeah, just be careful. So yeah, we're probably going to save here by next. You could also try lurking. I, I like kind of lurking when we're saving yeah. on attack side. So yeah, just try and kill someone who's like distracted or something. Oh, nice try. I think we went a little bit too early. So every time you want to lurk, make sure that you're like really late. You want to kind of bait your team. So yeah. I would wait for them to be probably around here. You see where they're at right now? Like this is probably when I I would have started walking up. So I think we went a little bit too early. Just a little impatient, but it's all good. It's a good try. Okay, 2v3. One art. Last player standing. Ooh. So after after planning, when it's a 2v3 like that, when you're down numbers, as soon as we clear flank, like I would have cleared it right away. As soon as we clear it, I would start to look back towards site, right? We're kind of like letting them take site, re-clear everything. And then when they clear everything, that's when they know exactly where you are. So you kind of want to take an early fight if you can, even out the numbers. Then you could probably play the bomb. But like when you're down numbers, it's kind of hard to play the bomb. We've just been going B every single round, which isn't the worst, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Should pick up flank. Nice. Uh... Oh, to try. So you know where you died, like close to the, the uh, screen, like when you were like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we were kind of out in the open there, right? I think, yeah. I think we could have probably played around the bomb, like way back, like deep in B long, and then just watch the flank. I was worried that there might be somebody who's coming flank, but nobody ended up coming, so we kind of got lucky in that sense. But definitely playing around Spike would be would have been probably been a better idea. A nice sight. Okay, so peaking angles with intent. That's something we need to be doing a lot more. Smoke positioning, peaking angles with intent. Nice. Thirty seconds left. Ooh. Uh. Spike planted. Yeah. I'm going out. Last player standing. Ooh, we hold the smoke. No. Nice job, nice job, nice job. In that spot though, and I probably would have held the smoke, right? Especially after flashing, when you use your flash and your smoke like that, I'm probably just gonna hold the smoke because they are at a huge disadvantage if they have to push through it, especially if they're like blind or something. But it was good, that was a really good round. We got two, good stuff, good stuff. In the smoke. One enemy remaining. Ooh. Oh my god. Nice try, nice try, nice try. Yeah, when our teammates like diffusing like that, so we heard one main and then the other one was wrapping coming from flowers, right? I think it'd probably be like you have to take like more an aggressive angle so they can't swing your teammate while they're diffusing and then you can like basically they have to peek you first. If they can peek your teammate before they peek you, then we're not really in a good spot to kind of defend our teammate who's diffusing, but uh, it was a good try. We could go aggressive with our Phoenix here. It looks like he's playing. 
Oh, nice shot. 50 on Harbor. Oh. A shot. Okay, nice, nice. Decent aim, actually. I think it's just how we're peeking stuff. Oh. A little quick on the reload. Wait, we have to be staring at the minimap a lot more. I think it's just more of an awareness thing. Okay, nice. Stop. Pause the video right now and go subscribe. Thanks. Golden State Park? I went there. But I didn't get to visit, like, the cool stuff. Like, I didn't see the tea thing. Didn't see... The, the flower, the, the plants. Oh my god. Nice job, nice job. I like the play there. So definitely want to smoke or uh, smoke off the bomb. It's good. We did have another smoke, so I would have used that one for main. Like smoke off the bomb and smoke off main, and then flash, and then you know you can stick. But overall, it was good. I like the decision to do that. I suggest you move. Cover going out. Ooh, we didn't close. We didn't check close left. Spike planted. I uh, look through mid. Yeah, my mic is USB connected. Oh no! Just runs and guns and gets two of you. That's crazy. You want to play? Let's play. Cover going out. Yeah, this guy's been lurking. They're, they've been lurking a lot. So anytime we've got to rotate, we always have to kind of check a corner before we're going to start walking down mid. So I would probably would have peeked doors a little bit, or at least hold it. And, unless they're like out in B, then we don't really need to just heavy rotate and heavy, you know, just divert all of yeah. our attention to it. We always have to keep in mind of where they can be lurking. Always look at the minimap, right? So find out like, how many do we see on the minimap? Is it two? Is it three? And then if it's like, however many you see, keep in mind that they're like, okay, well, there's two unaccounted for or three of them unaccounted for. And then it's like, well, where are they going to be playing? Ooh. Okay. All good. All good. All right. Let me share my screen and let me go over some stuff that I think will help you out. Okay. So our biggest issue, I think, when we are peeking corners, sometimes I'm noticing like you peek corners like this, where your crosshair is just kind of like following the corner and we're just kind of like reacting around the corner it's like our crosshair is there but i feel like we're not ready for somebody to be there if that makes sense it's like yeah. if there if we see someone we shoot it's like we see someone we shoot which is like very react reactionary and what you want to do is kind of like plan out in your mind that somebody's going to be in that corner before you peek so when i peek a corner i'm going to be peeking first of all with my strafe keys so a and d right you want to be using a and d a lot of the time when you're peeking corners and when i'm peeking in my mind i just imagine somebody's here right like somebody's like right here and i'm like okay peak they're not here okay next angle peak they're not here okay next angle right and then i just keep sort of like walking up and then i just imagine that they're gonna be all, like at every single one of these spots boom right they're not there okay right are they here are they here and it's like every single corner i'm just like okay i, I picture like an enemy being here and i'm ready for these fights so it's not going to be like this where i'm coming to the corners like oh i see someone and we can shoot it's more just like i I plan out the angle before I peek it. Another thing, so when we're rotating, let's say that you want to rotate towards B. We don't have to, you know, run out, knife out, look towards B when we're running. Like we, there, it, it makes no sense for us to look the direction where we're running, obviously to see where we're going, but it's okay if we understand the map or we can look at the mini map. So if I'm ever rotating towards B, I have nothing else to look at. So I might as well look at my flank. If there is somebody flank, oh, we're ready for this fight, right? We're just ready for this. And it's like, okay, now my teammates need help on B. Okay, now we can start looking towards the angle that we need to look but running with a knife out like this we're gonna get caught off guard a lot of the time so definitely something that you want to you know avoid is just constantly looking at the direction that we're rotating to it'll make it so we're like exposed from from different angles it's like this is going to be more of an extreme example but i just want to showcase the idea if i want to rotate from a all the way to b right and i'm like oh are there b i'm not going to do this right you're like in my mind i'm like oh what if they're yeah. here? Yeah, I'm like, oh, uh, we have to hold. And now that we've cleared it, now we can hold. And again, gun. Okay, we've cleared. We can knife out. They could be up here technically. 
right we cleared all this all right maybe now we can knife out okay clear 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 another thing too make sure that you're clearing all of your corners that's another thing that i've noticed sometimes we'll clear this and then we'll do this we're just like well, we'll check this and then that's it. We didn't even check this angle and I'm like, oh my God, there's someone who could have been there. So I'm checking, I'm checking. Now we can go. We can, you know, rotate and watching flank, flank, flank. Okay, we're on B. We can help towards B now or whatever. So something to think about. Another thing too that I noticed is lurk timings. So with your timings, a lot of the time, I noticed that, you know, you know, you had your teammates go B and then you wanted to go mid, but we started peaking mid way too early, right? Like ideally with lurking, you don't really want to try and take too many fair fights. Like I don't want to take like a fight with somebody who's here holding me, right? So what I want to do, I want to wait for my teammates to make a lot of noise. So then this guy is rotating towards B to help his teammates out. And the same way, they punished us when we were rotating with our backs turned. We could do that to them too, right? So we catch them rotating, their back turn, boom, 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 boom. And then we get that free kill and then we could fall off or we could do whatever we want to do. But the idea is you want to catch people off guard when you're lurking, not so much taking fair fights. Guys, 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 free coaching every week. Join the Discord in the description box below. If you want to try out other coaches, go to coaching.joelcv.com or click the link in the description below. They're all ready players. They're great people. And I personally vouch for them myself. Good luck climbing.